We are also getting new information about Omar Mateen from those who knew him personally, including a former high school classmate who was with the now terrorist on September 11, 2001, when they were in ninth grade. The classmate, Robert Zirkel, says an excited Mateen celebrated and laughed as America was attacked on that day. He joins me now, along with Mateen's former co-worker, Dan Gilroy. Good to have you both here with me. Thank you. Dan, you're here with me, so I just want to ask you, because you worked with him relatively recently. What were the years that you two worked together? Be about March 2014 to March 2015, approximately. And in that time frame, how, how often was it that you heard him make um, bigoted remarks? Every time I saw him. He was a uh, half hour to an hour um, at shift change, and he it was only him and I, and he made horrible statements every time I saw him. Did you go to the boss? Like, how soon did you go to the boss, I guess I should say? Actually, it took me about eight months before I went to the boss. Why? I wanted to make the job work. I wanted to keep the peace. I wanted to to not be the troublemaker at work. And um, after realizing that this gentleman had some serious issues, I went I went to the company. Did they fire him? No. You quit. Yes. Why? Because after four months of asking for a transfer to get away from him, um, they simply were dragging their feet and not complying and Why do you double talk. Think that was? They actually said it was for financial reasons. I didn't want to have to train two people. Mm -hmm. So when you heard the news, you were not surprised? No, not at all. Robert, you knew Omar Mateen in high school when you were in ninth grade together. Tell, and you were there when he learned about the attacks on 9-11, on the day of 9-11. Tell us what you, heard, what you heard. Well, I rode the bus with him. And um, on the day of the 9-11 attacks, uh, when he got on my school bus, uh, he, he acted like he was a plane. He would uh, hold his arms out by his sides and make plane noises. And he would, uh, when he got to his seat, he would stop and make a, an explosion type of sound. And then he would fall into his seat. On that day, he fell into his seat and uh, started making like screaming type noises and started laughing about it and acting like it was a big joke. Were there any religious references? Uh, on that day, uh, not that I can remember, no. Didn't mention Allah, didn't mention, you know, sort of any any of the terms that we've come to understand. Not not to me personally. Uh, no, I don't believe he, he mentioned Allah or anything of that nature. Not to me anyway. Did you believe he did you believe he might have just been a kid horsing around? I mean, did, did you think there was anything more to it? I thought so back then. Yeah, I thought like maybe he was just trying to gain friends or trying to make himself more popular maybe because he really didn't have a lot of friends in high school as far as I knew but I mean, we my friends and I kind of didn't really take it for granted we kind of like kind of joked around about it like man this kid might grow up one day and be one of those people that's why I was I was shocked to find out that it was somebody I knew but at the same time I, I kind of wasn't because we had spoke about this when I was in high school somebody else in your class said the same thing said they heard him make similar references what happened to him? Was this reported up the line? I, I don't. I don't really know. Um, I don't know what happened. Like, like I said, maybe he was just trying to impress people or make people mad. But he definitely made my my whole school bus mad. And and I ask you as well whether you you ever heard any religious references or whether it was all bigoted remarks and sexist remarks. Our conversations were bigoted and sexist, but uh, his religious activities was he would bring a prayer mat with him and he would pray right in front of me. He would kneel down and chant and kiss objects and put on different, I think he put on a hat while he did that. And he did that for about 10 minutes. And uh, it was a couple times during the shift. Um, and he was a devout Muslim. Mm -hmm. A devout Muslim making several bigoted remarks uh, at, a, at a time when the, we now know the police were at least looking into this man. Thank you very much for being here, both of you. Thank you.